Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have an awesome tool for Godot engine developers. If you are using Godot, you really want to go ahead and check this one out. And I also had a small, small part in the creation of this in that I reviewed the creator's other tool, Exporter for Unreal to Unity, and enables you to basically turnkey move from Unreal Engine to Unity your assets with pretty much one click. It was an awesome tool and I said to him, you know what, you should really try and create something like this for the Godot game engine. And over the last several months, he has done exactly that. So we now have the Unreal to Godot exporter and this is a wonderful tool because basically it opens up your um, asset library to a huge world of opportunities out there. If you do not know about uh, the way Epic Games runs, they actually do a ton of giveaways. So you head on over to their Unreal Engine marketplace, you're going to find free for the month, they give away a number of different assets and the library they give these away under actually permit usage in other game engines, but you do have to get them out of Unreal and into those other engines. On top of that, there are a number of humble bundles going on, such as this one I'm going to demonstrate uh, in just a second. We're going to use one of the assets from this asset bundle, which is the Baroque Cathedral. So you've got these access to all of these uh, bundles and freebie giveaways, etc. for Unreal Engine, and you can export them out and use them in Godot using this powerful tool. On top of that, we have a number of other things. For example, we have a Cinti bundle going on there. You can use the Cinti assets directly inside of Godot, but you don't get the level. So I'm going to actually show you a live demonstration of exporting a Cinti demo as well. So first, let's head on over to Unreal Engine. This is the Baroque Cathedral, or Baroque, Baroque uh, Cathedral uh, level. This is uh, one of the, um, the Humble Bundles that is currently available. This is only available for Unreal Engine right now. You get an idea of what this level is all about. So just gonna kind of zoom in here a little bit, and yeah. So this is the level, this is pretty much the idea behind it. So if you wanted this asset in your Unreal Engine game, well using the Unreal to Godot plugin, it's simply a matter of boom, export to Godot, pick do you want visual shaders or standard material, pick the directory where you wish for this to go, do you want to export, do you want, how are you going to deal with Nanite, do you want to do the high definition or low definition version of the mesh, uh, and then you just export it out, and that's it. It's going to pop up one more uh, uh, dialogue in a minute asking you for GLTF. The only thing you're going to change there is potentially the um, baking resolution of the textures. The default I think is 1K by 1K. You can jack that all the way up to 4K if you wish and then it does its magic. And this is the result of that magic. So now we are in the Godot game engine. You're gonna see, again, obviously the lighting is gonna come across a bit different but it does pull everything over. And look at the detail that it brings it in at. So it does just a wonderful job of bringing these assets across. Let's head on over into the main alcove area over here. Now again, you're gonna notice massively different lighting and that is just a side effect of different game engines. Uh, this one I set up a, a voxelized lighting. It actually creates a world environment for you, more optimized for outdoor scenes. So on an entire seed, you might wanna set up the lighting yourself, but let's go ahead and see there. So without the voxelized GI, you see a much different result. And then the other thing about this is it's bringing in assets as they are. So for example, here, I come up here and say sort by type, and I'm gonna do Omni lights. So there are all of the Omni lights in the scene, like so. So if you wanna go ahead and make changes to it, I can go grab the very first light, like this. I can grab the last light, like this. And then all the various different lights in the scenes, we have various different details for them that we can work with. So if you wanna tweak it after the fact, you've got a huge amount of control over it. If you want, another thing, if you wanna get it more like looking like uh, an Unreal Engine render, a lot of that comes down to the warmth or coloring of the lighting. So you can make a lot of changes in that regard as well. But everything is bringing, being brought across as actual objects that you would expect to see in the Godot game engine. On top of that, you're gonna notice over here, the scene has been broken down so you see here, the st structure here. So you do get this as a level. This is the showcase level name on the map from Unreal Engine. We're also going to notice down here, it's created shaders. And these are visual shaders, typical Godot visual shaders that you can go ahead and edit accordingly, like so. So it's got powerful shader creation right there, native to what you would expect from Godot. And then on top of that, we also have all of the prefabs. So if you want to create or instantiate something, literally, they're just drag and drop and ready to go in your game as TSCN files ready to be used. That is super impressive. So if you want to bring assets in from Unreal Engine to Godot, you are definitely not going to beat this tool. By the way, the author suggested that if this does well enough, he might consider creating a similar tool for Unity to Godot. So if you're interested in that, do let me know in the comments down below. So now I'm gonna show you the process beginning to end. 
Now I mentioned earlier on that there is this uh, Cinti bundle going on right now. So what we're going to do is take one of these asset packs. Uh, I think it's the Battle Royale pack. And I'm going to show you how to add the plug into it and go from there. So that particular asset comes down as a zip of a project file. We're just going to go ahead and we'll extract that one out. If you're creating your own project file, you'll obviously just create it in Unreal Engine. Here it is in a directory. Now, when you've grabbed this guy uh, from Gumroad, you will get the zip file here. What you want to do is go ahead and grab this one right there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll copy that out. Boom. So this is the content you want. So we'll extract out the, this guy here. And then we're just going to rename that from Unreal to Godot and then the version number to simply Unreal to Godot, like that. So that is your plugin that you want. Now it's important that you match it with that name. The Unreal to Godot part is important because it's got to match this name right here. So grab the version that you are using. When, so I'm using 5.4 in this case. And we basically just grab that folder that we've extracted out and rename to Unreal to Godot. And then what we do is we go into our project. So right here, uh, go into the project and then we'll go ahead and create a new folder. Again, naming does matter. Call this one plugins and then paste that in. All right, so we've now got it installed and ready to go. And we'll go ahead and load up our project. So we'll convert this over to a 5.4 plugin uh, project, I mean. Uh, and this, I, I picked the Cinti one because this is going to be able to show you in pretty much real time how this entire process works. All right, so here we go. Detected the new plugin. Uh, not now, skip all the rest of that. All right, so let's go here. We'll full screen this guy. Go to the content drawer, go to the maps and open up the demo. So you got an idea, this is the level that we are going to export over to the Godot game engine. Pretty nice. Uh, and by the way, if you get this pack, uh, you get all the FBX files, but you don't actually get these demo levels. So if you wanna get the demo levels out, it's a lot easier to go this route. And to be honest, this method gives you a better, more workable result than if you actually get the FBX version. Because the FBX version, you have to bring each one in individually. This one is going to create and texture and handle all of the setups for you, which is pretty cool. Now you're gonna notice if you set this up right, you're gonna have the Unreal to Godot project at the top here. And really all you need to do Export to Godot, dot, dot, dot. Do you want visual shaders or standard materials? Go with visual shaders. It gives you, uh, it gives the tool a bit more flexibility for things like animations and so on. Uh, pick the directory you want it to go to. So let's go to C colon slash temp slash YouTube demo. Uh, and we'll do the course mesh because it's all low polygon stuff anyways. Export brushes or not, by default, you probably don't need this. But if you're getting something that isn't being exported, try it with that on and then go ahead and export it out. So it's going to do a little bit of setup and then that window will pop up. Now, what you want to do here is basically just pick the more or less most important thing here is the material size. And 1K by 1K, especially for Cinti assets, is more than enough. Now it's going to go through and convert all of the meshes. And again, the Cinti stuff works fast enough. I can show you this is in real time. If you've got like thousands of like instance foliage meshes, 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 I can't speak today. It's going to take you a quite a bit longer. It could potentially take up to an hour type thing for it to, but on a scene like this, no problem at all. And then boom, it's exported out. So now what you do is just go into, uh, I guess over here, let's open up our copy of Godot. So you, don't need, you do need to use a very current version of Godot, Godot 4.2 or 4.3, so one of the newest versions. It does not have to be the mono version, by the way, I just happen to have that there. Uh, we put this in the temp folder and it is YouTube demo. So you're gonna notice it created a project.godot. That's it, go ahead, open it up, import it in, and I don't know with Godot 4.2, X, why it loses focus there. And now Godot's gonna do its auto re-import of all of the various different assets that were brought in. Uh, this can take uh, probably about a minute. I'm not gonna sit here with, while you watch a minute worth of processing, so I will pause for a second. And voila, about a minute later, here is the result in the Godot game engine. So there is the imported level and how it looks. All right, there, source. destination. And I honestly think that the default rendering on the Godot side of things actually looks better in this particular case. Like I said, it does come pre-configured. So the, the plugin will create um, a world environment for you. So you can check this one out. It's over here. So it sets up uh, common environment aspects for you. So if you wanted to change, for example, to use SDFGI, you could turn global illumination on this way, save it, and then come back over here. And now you're going to have, uh, once it's done updating, you'll now have global illumination on your scene. So you have, uh, everything is set up for you. And then again, the cool part is it takes all of the assets, the individual assets and sets them up as prefabs for you as well. So now you can just literally start using assets in your world. It's, it just makes it 
so much easier to use these assets. Now you can do a lot of this out of the box with Unreal Engine, but you're not gonna get this level of integration. You're not gonna get this level of turnkey setup. You're not gonna have it automatically creating shaders for you. And another thing you're going to see is it is going to crash a whole lot more. Uh, and so, you know, this isn't going to work 100% all of the time. You're going to occasionally have things that don't come across that well. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast. Uh, but I think that this thing does an absolute amazing job and it kind of opens up the Godot ecosystem so that it almost has the entirety of mesh assets from Unreal Engine available to it as well. So that is really cool, especially because uh, Unreal Engine are currently in the process of launching Fab, uh, which is going to make this even more accessible and approachable, but you can go from this to this in almost like literally minutes. You saw 95% of it, and what you didn't see was basically just uh, the Godot engine export or handling all the imports. And then you're really ready to go. Everything is, you know, set up as uh, Unreal or as Godot um, scenes that you can then, by the way, you can drill into any one of these. They're all set up as scenes ready to go in the Godot game engine. A super awesome plugin, in my opinion. And once again, it opens you up to a world of assets that are published on Humble all the time. So you can see, for example, Humble. Uh, here we've got, that's not it, software. All right, come on. We've got this one is Unreal. Uh, then we've got, uh, let's see what else, Unreal. And then Unreal. So at any particular point in time, there's generally a ton of Unreal Engine assets available out there. Now you still need Unreal Engine in the mix, but this plugin just makes it so easy to work with. So it is up on GitHub. The link is down below. Again, if you use my link, I do get a small commission and I do appreciate that. Do go ahead and check this out. It's again, one of the first commercial plugins for Godot. And I know he put a ton of work into this and he needs to eat. And I understand that completely. But the cool thing here is, if you like what you see here and it sells well enough, he's willing to do the same thing for Unreal Engine, for that he's done for Unreal Engine, for the Unity game engine as well, potentially. At least look into it. So if you're interested in seeing something like this, but for Unity, uh, do, uh, again, let me know in a comment down below. I know the uh, author is going to be paying attention to the comment section. And of course, if you buy this, it will, uh, you know, help convince him that it is worthwhile to put the work in. And once the Godot asset store is up, we will no doubt see this hosted on there. We might also see this on Fab in the future, but for now it is available up on Gumroad. Link is down below. So let me know what you think of the Unreal to Godot exporter. Personally, I think this is kind of amazing. I also just realized I forgot to show you a couple of other cool features. So what you've got here is a couple of other tools here. You'll notice in the menu here, we've also got these other ones here. So what I can do is I come in here, create a new level. So if you just wanna bring a couple of things over, uh, by the way, it does make changes to your scene, so don't save after the export. It's just stuff that's done as part of the exporting process, so do not save when it prompts you to. But what you can do is then come on in here, and you can actually pick the things from the Unreal Engine side. So let's say we've got a bunch of meshes, and we just want to bring over the environment meshes. I can come down here, I could select a handful of environment meshes like so, and then you just come up here and you go, place all assets in the scene. And what it'll do is it'll place all of the selected assets in the scene. So you can then do a quick export of just the selected assets. Uh, very handy if you want to bring over just a bit of the stuff. Again, these will all be brought over as ready to go prefabs on the Godot side of things, but it gives you the ability to select just what you're interested in. You also have the same option uh, when it comes to uh, materials. So here we go. Once again, come on down here. You'll check out, go into the materials section of this, select the materials you are interested in, and then come on up here and say, uh, place cubes with selected materials and it will bring over just the materials. So if you just want to export out materials ready to use, you can bring them over here. And again, when you export these things, you do have the option of having created visual shaders or stated materials. So this is a super fast way of exporting just prefabs and just materials if you wish as well. So you do not have to do your entire level like what we showcased. You can also bring over selective components. Uh, what he has managed to pull off here and it just opens up the Godot ecosystem to a huge world of possibility because all of the stuff from uh, Unreal Engine, at least all of the stuff under an appropriate license, which is most of the uh, asset store contents, to be honest, is now uh, basically exportable over to Godot. You know, you're not going to get blueprints. You're not going to like the, uh, the logic side of things. C++ isn't going to get ported over to GDScript or anything like that. But all of the assets themselves are being brought across and just turnkey ready. And again, literally literally turnkey ready. And that is really, really cool. So let me know what you think of this project. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.